You are not alone if you are experiencing what experts are calling post-lockdown anxiety. You may already have worries about what's going to happen once pandemic restrictions are lifted further. For many, it has felt comfortable being at home, as we got used to feeling safe there. Now, as we face the restrictions being lifted completely, with things opening up and a return to university quite soon, it feels that the comfort zone we've gotten used to be by being at home has been taken away. There are still some unknowns, so it is normal to have worries about what life will look like as we begin to step outside of our bubbles. However, when the anxiety and the stress levels get too much, they begin to interfere with everyday life, creating problems for us both physically and emotionally. That's when it might become a cause for concern. Most common physical symptoms are increased heart rate, muscle tension, jelly legs, tingling over hands and feet, and sometimes hyperventilating with a short, shallow breath, dizziness and feeling sick. You could worry that you're going to faint or have a heart attack. It can feel scary. Feeling a loss of control, getting overwhelmed, or a feeling of being detached from your environment and the people in it. Perhaps you feel a panic attack from anxiety you're experiencing about the changes. When trying to manage your stress, there are a number of strategies you can utilise. Number one, focus on what you can control. It is important to not focus solely on those things we cannot control. In fact, what you should do is think about and list those things you have control of. Make it something you can do together as a family, with friends, and it can be as simple as what you decide to watch on television, the things that you do, and during the day. Those may seem like small things, but when you're in a time like this, when so much of life feels out of control, those things can feel very comforting. Number two, creating new routines. Think about creating new routines like games or trying some creative artistic kinds of things, things that would be fun. Number three, avoid information overload. Don't overload by watching or reading the news 24 seven. Number four, spend time in nature. This can be a highly effective way to reduce stress. While we might not feel entirely ready to socialize indoors, meeting outdoors for a walk or cycling can help improve our mood. Number five, a simple breathing technique. This can help get the parasympathetic nervous system going. Breathing in for four, hold for two, and out for six. Emphasizing and making sure that you are breathing out longer than you are breathing in, and just repeat that for half a dozen times or more. Number six, be present and take life one day at a time. Look at each day as a unique day. Be present in that day and make it that best possible day it can be. But day by day, you will get through this and that's the best way you can manage some of the stress and anxiety that comes along with this. Seven, remember ways you've stayed calm in the past. You need to take a break and think about the things in your life that you've used in the past, but it's helped you stay calm. Listening to or playing music, reading, talking with family or friends. And finally, number eight, embrace stress and talk about it. Acknowledge, pause, pull back, let go and explore. It's really important to keep in mind that stress and anxiety is normal. Do not try to just push it away or pretend it doesn't exist. If we try to deny and push it down, it sometimes can create really cumbersome feelings and it becomes more difficult to hold it back than it is just to let it out. It's okay to talk about it. It's okay to acknowledge it and doing so in fact will help you work through it. If you find these simple self-help exercises don't help you, you might want to contact us and speak to one of our counsellors at the counselling service.